I want. I don't know. Oh, Okay, so first, we're going to toast our Sichuan red peppers. It's important to toast all your spices to bring out the most flavor and aromatics from your spices. So I'm just gonna do about a tablespoon of Sichuan red pepper. Again, toasting them just means uh, heating them up until you can smell the peppers and spices. This really brings out all the flavors from that spice. You wanna buy your spices whole and then toast them when you're using them. This is what our fine uh, grinded pepper looks like. So I just toast them and quickly grind them. So that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna put that aside here. Okay, to prepare the marinade for the chicken, here's what I have. I've got four cloves of garlic minced. You're, you, and then you have about two tablespoons of oyster, a teaspoon of Shaoxing wine. This just, ten, this helps tenderize and flavor our chicken. We're also gonna use a quarter of an orange. This adds not only flavor, but it again helps tenderize the, the chicken. Then I have the fresh ground Sichuan red peppers that we just did. A teaspoon of white pepper. A little bit of paprika for some spice. If you wanna make this a little bit more spicy, uh, I would use cayenne, but for my purposes, I'm gonna keep it a little bit mild. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of paprika. I have my chicken here that I pre-cut. I cut them in fairly large cube pieces, about an inch and a half, because I want them in larger pieces. I've done this, I've made this before in smaller chunks, and I found that it's a little bit better to just to make them in uh, larger chunks so they come out more tender, there's more chew, there's more to bite. And, and by the way, we're using chicken thigh for this. I've also made this in chicken breast, and I found that chicken thigh is just more tender um, when, when, when it comes to this. So I'm just gonna put that in. I'm gonna put all our chicken into our mixture. Again, this is chicken thigh, and I'm just gonna mix that in. It in place. We're not gonna forget to, to salt, so I just wanna salt about maybe a teaspoon of salt. Just mix that in. You want to have one wet hand and one dry hand to season. It's just a, another dab of salt so that it incorporates. For our marinade, we're gonna add sweet potato starch. This is what it looks like. Sweet potato starch is traditionally used for um, popcorn chicken. If you can't use sweet potato starch, you can use corn starch as well. So I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon of sweet potato starch to the actual marinade so that it coats nicely. And now that our marinade is complete, there's some really, really good coating, some really great seasoning in there, some really good flavors from all the spices we put. I'm gonna let this guy chill for about 15 minutes in the refrigerator to marinate, and then we'll get, we'll get going with the batter and the fry. While we're waiting for our chicken to marinate, I'm just gonna take my Thai basil and just pick out the leaves. You wanna just do this before you uh, throw them into the deep fry with the chicken. So the Thai basil really adds a, a very licorice sweet flavor. Okay, so I've picked out all our leaves and I'm just gonna set this aside to make sure that we're ready for our deep fry. While we heat up our oil to 350, degrees. Um, let's go ahead and take our chicken out um, from the marinade. It's been about 15 minutes, so it's nicely coated and beautiful. Take about three-fourths of a cup of potato starch. I'm gonna coat the bottom of my bowl so that the, the bottom is nicely coated with potato starch. I'm gonna keep that handy just to make sure. And then I'm just gonna add my potato starch in, making sure to um, add the potato starch throughout. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna add my chicken in and then making sure to add 
potato starch throughout. So now we have our coated chicken. So our oil is now 350 degrees. We're ready to deep fry. We're gonna do a double uh, double fry method today with our canola oil. It's a high heat oil, it's great for deep frying. You could also use vegetable oil. Double frying just allows us to get the most crunch for a longer period of time and it allows us to also have very crispy and tender chicken. So the double fry method is great for french fries. That's why McDonald's has such great um, and crispy french fries is because they double fry their french fries and a lot of different restaurants do as well. So I'm just gonna put in maybe half of our chicken at a time and then put it in there. Oh. Yeah, you wanna push it around so that they don't stick to each other. So I'm pulling this out. This is the first fry, so I'm pulling these out now. They're looking golden brown, but again, we're doing a double fry method. So we don't wanna cook them yet. We're just doing a sort of first batch fry. We're doing the double fry so that it allows us to get a crispier chicken. And then we're just uh, cooking these about 80% of the way through. And then we're gonna go through it again and double fry it. Small pleasures in life. This little oil cleaner, um, we found this at one of our uh, like, uh, like home goods maybe. And we're just, I'm just super happy about it because it's a, it does such an essential thing when you're like cooking broths and frying. It just cleans the, the, the tops so that you have cleaner oil or cleaner broth. Yeah, we're at high heat, that's good. Got some good bubbling. Um, we're getting ready to fry these guys again. So I'm gonna put in all the entire batch of chicken. I'm gonna take these guys to about 95%. Here's the very crucial part. Again, we talked about adding our Thai basil. You wanna grab your Thai basil um, fistful because they're so moist, they're gonna splatter. So you wanna grab your lid and your Thai basil in one hand and then get ready to add and then cover. Ready, set, add, cover. Nice. And there you have it, folks. We have ourselves some beautiful Taiwanese popcorn chicken. Ah, oh, so, oh my God, guys. The Thai basil adds so much aroma to this. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I can't wait to eat this. I'm just gonna add, uh, I'm gonna take the Sichuan peppercorn, add white pepper, and a little bit of paprika for a little spice on top. I'm gonna mix that together. Ooh, it's looking really delicious. And there you have it, guys. You have your beautiful, your crunchy, Taiwanese popcorn chicken. Now for the ultimate taste test. Mmm. It's so tender. Mmm. It's so tender inside from the Shaoxing wine and the orange, but the flavors of the spice really come out. They're so delicious and so, so crunchy. I hope you guys try this at home. Let me know how you like the recipe. Thanks for watching. Mmm. Mm. Babe, it's really good. Mm -hmm. The spice. The last time was crunchier, but this is a better flavor. No, I like how the pieces are bigger too, because mm -hmm. um, juicier.